As we know, there are swing states that are significantly closer than that. And tonight, we're drilling down here into one area in particular. It's Nebraska. Yes, Nebraska. And here's why. Remember, Trump and Harris need 270 electoral college votes to win. But there are scenarios where you could get to a tie. 269-269. It involves Omaha, Nebraska. So this is Nebraska right here. Five electoral college votes for Nebraska, but they do it differently there. If you win the state as a whole, you get two. But then the three congressional districts each get one. So the third district is the largest ge geographic area. The first district is right outside of Omaha. And then look at these three counties here. That is Nebraska, too. And that is one of the most watched areas will be in all of the country on election night. So let me ru run through some, some scenarios here as to what could potentially happen and how you get to 269, 269. So if, Donald, uh, if Kamala Harris were to win the blue wall and Donald Trump wins uh, all the states in, in the South and out West and Nebraska goes completely red, you get to 269, 269. There's some subtleties here with Maine as well. Um, but let's change the map a little bit, right? Let's say that doesn't play out. There's tons of scenarios. For example, in this one, the blue wall part, blue wall right here, goes red. Kamala Harris, let's flip it. She wins Arizona, North Carolina, and Georgia, and Don Bacon's district, Republican, goes blue. What do you get? 269, 269. We can do this all day or for, for quite some time. Um, but it goes to show why this district right here is so important. The congressman who represents that district is a Democrat. I just name checked him. Don Bacon joins us live here on the Hill. Congressman, thanks for being with us here on the show. Appreciate it. Um, let's start there. Is the election going to come down to where you live? Well, first of all, I got to point out I'm a Republican, uh, but it did go for Biden last time. And uh, did no, I say Democrat? District. I'm a Republican. Yeah, no, 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 that, sorry. I, 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 no, I, I, I know <laughs> that. Good. If I said Democrat, I, I apologize. I know, ex I know exactly who you are. Um, it, 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 I so may have just it, misheard it, but that's all good. No worries. So it, it's, district. Yeah, is the election going to come down to it? I, I, I think there's some, you know, there's odds that it's possible. I don't know if it's likely. I do think President Trump, if he could stay on message and focus on, you know, the economy, border and crime, and also Vice President Harris's very liberal voting record in the Senate and what she campaigned on in 2020, he's going to win Georgia, he'll win back Arizona, uh, he'll be competitive in this district, uh, you know, it's still, it'll be 50-50, uh, but he's got to stay on message. Uh, but I do think he has a good chance of uh, taking back Georgia and Arizona, and so it's, and the other one's going to be a hard fight. And so this district, you know, I, I was right now, the latest polling we had, I'm up two, and Vice President Harris yeah. was up eight. And there was another poll that came out yesterday showing Harris was up five. Mm -hmm. I really believe this district leans Republican, but they want to know that you want to govern and that you want to work across the aisle and get things done. And as much as President Trump, former President Trump, so is, communicate that, the better for him here. Is Donald Trump then a drag on you in your, in your re-election chance? That's, that's, I guess, what the numbers would suggest. I wonder if you believe that to be the case. Well, it's in 2020, uh, he lost by six and a half, and I won by 4.6. And again, our district, they like center-right politics, but they want you to govern, and they want you to be respectful. And I just think if the president talks about the issues, doesn't get into character attacks and, and name-calling, but focuses on the environment or the economy, the border, uh, crime, and the, and the liberal voting record of Vice President Harris, he will do well here. Our governor is a Republican. He won this district. Our county sheriff, Republican, won this district. Our, co our county attorney, Republican, won this district. You can win here as a Republican, but you've got to be a governing Republican and, and be focused on issues and, and be respectful and discreet. Uh, so you talk about respect and being respectful. Um, there was an, an incident that happened seemingly just down the road from us here at Arlington National Cemetery the other day, Congressman. Uh, Donald Trump was there to pay his respects to the 13 service members, U.S. soldiers, who were killed at Abbey Gate in Afghanistan during the uh, botched withdrawal there. There was an incident because you're not supposed to film on the grounds there. Uh, they say over at Arlington National Cemetery, that is indeed what happened. And J.D. Vance 
alluded to this earlier today when he was out on the trail. I want to play for you what he said and get your reaction on the other side. We're going to talk about a story out of those 13 brave, innocent Americans who lost their lives. It's that Kamala Harris is so asleep at the wheel that she won't even do an investigation into what happened. And she wants to yell at Donald Trump because he showed up. She can she can go to hell. That was J.D. Vance. Is that the correct response? And was the Trump campaign doing the right thing by filming at Arlington National Cemetery? You know, I know J.D.'s a believer, a Christian, and we should raise the bar on how we talk about, uh, talk to our opponents, about our opponents. I really think middle America wants to see a, a, a more decent conversation style. Thank you for watching, and make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.